And as Americans ponder who they should cast their ballot for, one small community is hoping to maintain its perfect voting record in the last four decades. Clelem in Washington state is the only county out of more than 3,000 across the U.S. that has correctly picked the winning candidate in the last 11 presidential elections. Its population of around 75,000 has an uncanny knack for voting for the victor. Nick Harper finds out which way this bellwether county is leaning in this election. In this part of America, Dungeness crabs are a source of pride. Harvested locally, shipped internationally, and celebrated annually. Once a year, Clallam County's biggest city, Port Angeles, holds Crab Fest, bringing people together to eat too much, wear silly hats, and recognize what makes this region unique. It unites a community that's normally divided by politics, a subject that has everyone here feeling a little crabby. People are just so nasty. We've just gotten too nasty. Too nasty, too divided. We need a lot less fear and a lot, a lot more facts and a lot more kindness and a lot more ethics. It's not just the world-famous seafood that makes this county unique. When it comes to voting for presidential candidates here, it's less about the party and more about the person. I've been kind of right in the middle, moderate. Sometimes I, I, I voted for both for a long time. David Turner has switched sides from Democrats to Republicans and back again multiple times. Vote for the person that's uh, bright enough to run the country and wants to spend the time. If anyone can work out the winner of this upcoming election, it's the people of Clallam County. They seem to have a recipe for success, the secret sauce when it comes to picking the winner. Clallam County in America's top left-hand corner somehow feels at the very center of US politics. It's the crystal ball capital, the only county to correctly pick the presidential winner in the last 11 elections. Since 1980, it's voted for the Republican candidate six times, the Democrat five. Anybody ready for a change? At this meeting, support for one candidate is rock solid. 20 kilometers outside of Port Angeles, local Republicans are discussing the main issues for them in this election. The border is number one. I mean, there are millions and millions of undocumented people in our country. Some are terrorists. Some are criminals that are trafficking children. Unchecked spending that is creating a, um, in inflation. Well, I have a great fear that our country is becoming more socialistic. But this being Clallam County, where people's politics are fluid, there is at least a hope for unity. There's a distinct line that's drawn in the sand that we're different people, but we're not. We're all the same type of people. If we could sit down just long enough to air out our differences, I think we'd be in great shape. A feeling echoed by Mayor Kate Dexter. She's seen this working class county, which is more than 80% white, go with the flow, and election after election, reflect the nation's values. Regardless of whether or not we maintain our bellwether status, I think we are a community that comes together to support each other. We work well together. We will uh, still be a great community um, after November 5th. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, sorry it got stolen. People's signs getting stolen, it's just like, yeah. So At the a Clallam County Democrats' office, they're making replacement signs and getting voters registered. A lot of people have come in and said, I've been a Republican all my life, but I just can't vote that way this time. And I don't think these are people who are publicly announcing to the world that they're voting differently, but we have seen that encouragement. Everyone here knows who they want to win, but will enough of them be right and once again pick the president? Well, let's see, how many times have we done it? 11. 11, okay, well, even 12. Got to do a dozen, right? I think we will. I think we will this year. In today's divided landscape, this bellwether county is hoping to weather the political storm of this presidential election. Nick Harper, CNA, Clallam County.